Hey, welcome back to our Minecraft survival world where we are rejecting the grind and learning to enjoy Minecraft again like it was our very first time playing. I'm glad you're here today because we have a lot to do, starting with a very special announcement. Horsaurus, do you want to give him the news? Oh, that's right. You can't talk. I'll do it for you. <laughs> As of right now, we have channel memberships available and there's a couple of unique options on there. I wanted to be able to give you guys something if you chose to support me and this channel. For just a few dollars a month, you can have a sign in this world. Oh, I just broke some grass. I'm thinking we'll make a shrine on one of these two mountaintops. Oh, the sun setting. That, that would be super nice. The sun setting over a, a shrine right there with all of your guys' names in it. Anyway, you would also get access to some badges and custom emojis we have have a soup bowl and gill and horse horse but then for the next tier up you will get all of those plus a named villager in our world i have so many build ideas that are going to need villagers to populate them and so i think that would be a super neat way to kind of thank you guys for supporting me but also bring you into this world with me here's some of the uh, build ideas that are going to need some uh some villagers <laughs> Okay, okay, I can't show all of those, but you can pause and look at them if you want to. <laughs> and then there's just another tier where if you feel like you want to support me and you have a little bit of extra cash every month, you can. But let me emphasize something. Just you being here and watching these videos is all the support that you need to give. But if you really like what we're doing with this community and this channel, kind of relearning how to enjoy Minecraft again and spreading the positivity, then now there's a way that you can kind of show your support and allow me to spend a little bit more time making these episodes for you guys. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get started with today's episode. The first thing we need to do is hang up our trophy from last episode where we completed a raid. That was definitely a crazy experience. I hope the villagers are doing okay. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I love that doorbell. We can go check on them right now because we've got to go name the town. Man, that building is just it's like a build straight out of a different era. I love it. Hello. How's it going today? <laughs> hope you're doing okay. I'm just here to put a sign up and we're going to name this village. <laughs> a couple of you guys suggested this and I know I said I don't want to stick with this like weird double word naming for everything, but I think it's okay in this case for our very first village. <laughs> this village shall forever be known as Town Town. All right, horse horse, we got a lot of other stuff to do today. So let's get back to the house. Oh, we need another bridge here because I got to keep making horse horse hop over this gap. There you are. Okay, let's take a look at some of the other things that we got to do today. Oh, we can take this down. Now, this is the main thing I'd like to focus on today. I want to have a working kitchen. I always thought it was weird that people store their food in a bunch of chests with all their other blocks. I think having a nice cozy kitchen to store all your food in is so much more cool. What am I trying to say? A kitchen is a must for me at least. <laughs> and maybe this will inspire you to build a nice kitchen in your world. But we've also got a few other things we gotta take care of. First of all, we hit 10,000 subscribers and we're still growing at this moment, which is absolutely crazy. And so I wanna build a monument to commemorate it. I have a very special design for that. We also died last episode, so I think I'm gonna make some gravestones and we need a place to set that up. And finally, what? Give all gold and diamonds to Gil? I did not write that. I did not write that. Okay, well, that looks like that's all the stuff we have to do for today. So let's get started. First things first, I wanted to make a gravestone for every time I died in this series. And we've died twice so far last episode. So I found a neat spot, put down a couple of stones, and messed up the dirt around them just a little bit. Okay, as the sun goes down here, these are our two gravestones. And I'm just going to label which episodes we died on. Both of these are from episode 6. Two deaths in one episode, that's what a raid will do for you. <laughs> I also want to bury an item related to each death at each site. So I think for both of these actually, we're going to put in an emerald because it was a pillager that killed us. I'll just do the same thing over here. A chest and an emerald. There we go, two gravestones. Then I added just the suggestion of a wall around the area and almost fell into that pit. And of course, I paid my respects at each grave. Maybe we should build like an old church here or something like that, or like a grave diggers building. I think that would really help tie this place together. Maybe when we get a few more deaths down. That's the cemetery down, so we can knock that off. Oh, that's so satisfying. I just love knocking off these signs. Anyway, it's time to get started on our 10k sub monument. Now, I had everything I needed for this monument except for one important thing. So, it was time for an adventure. 
I suited up, hopped on horse horse, and off we went. Can you guess where we're going? If you guessed that we're on the lookout for a desert to find cactus, you'd be correct. I don't know how you'd know that, but uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we set out to the east, and after admiring the tiniest jungle biome I've ever seen, we found a savanna, which I followed on the outskirts, hoping it would bring us to a desert. I had to stop and take a dip in this insane, naturally generated pool before heading on to our next surprise in the adventure. Well, 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 what do we have here? This is a neat little village. I feel like that lava is a bit of a hazard, but uh, <laughs> oh well. I didn't realize that they decorated with terracotta blocks either. That's so cool. Anyone home? Some bread. A pot. Oh, I forgot about these. We're going to have to make some of these for our home. Wow, look at these houses. <gasps> a brewing stand. I might actually take this. <laughs> look at that roof. That's so neat. I wonder if cactus spawns in any of these houses like in pots or something that would be so helpful i'm leaving you right there for a second horse horse oh while i fall into a pit <laughs> hey man just passing through crops look good anything for me in here nope okay carry on <laughs> how about over here nope oh, i love that orange bed that's neat how about you also no wow you guys have a lot of grindstones <laughs> what the I don't know if I've ever seen this, like, little balcony or, uh, what do you call this, overhang? <laughs> That's awesome. Please have cactus. No cactus, two emeralds, so I'll take them. Oh, cute kitty cat. We still have to get a cat. Add that to the list of things we gotta do. Empty maps, I'll take those, actually. Hey, man. How's it going? Do you have cactus for me? Oh, so close. He has mangrove. <laughs> Imagine if he had spawned that episode where we needed all the mangrove wood. <laughs> A saddle, nice. Oh, the orange cat, that's so cute. I want you. <laughs> that's creepy. All right, thanks for the stuff. I'm gonna keep going. See you later. After that little pit stop, I departed the savanna to go check out this jungle. Little did I know that would bring me exactly where I needed to be. You see that little tint of orange on the horizon? No way, no way, wait. Do mesa biomes spawn cactus? Please tell me they do. Wait, is that is that a desert out there? Wait, okay. Get out of my way, Bamboo. <laughs> that is a desert, isn't it? Please be- Yes, I see cactus. Oh, it does spawn in the mesa. We don't even have to go to the desert. There it is. There's the piece we need. I'll take all of this. Thank you very much. I mean, we might as well go all the way and check out the desert, right? Also, wow, this biome is gorgeous. Is this coarse dirt? It is. Wow, I actually need a lot of this. That's super handy. <laughs> I like this for paths, like the one in my farm. I spent just a few minutes gathering up a few stacks of coarse dirt. And don't worry, I did cut down these floating trees to try and preserve some of the landscape. So I was kind of right. The savanna did lead me to the drier biomes. Just not the dry biome I was expecting. <laughs> No way. And there's a coral reef here. This spot is awesome. We might have to come back and build here. It would be so cool if we built like a wild western town out here. That would be a great place to put some of you guys if you sign up to be villagers. <laughs> this has got to be like the tiniest desert ever. <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining. We got what we came for, but this is more like a big beach than a desert. <laughs> also, wow, that coral is gorgeous. I really want to take a swim through it. How often do you guys do this? Just kind of take in the Minecraft sites. Can I take these pickles, by the way? I know it can be easy to get caught up in the grind of it all, the building and mining and building and mining and going out and exploring, but just swimming through this coral, I don't know, just taking it all in really builds your connection with the world, I think. Can we swim through here? Oh, wait. Let's swim through here. Whee! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna drown. I love this pink one. It looks so vibrant. We'll be back here for sure. All right, horse, horse, time to go. I didn't make it far, however, before I stumbled upon our next big surprise. Hmm. Okay. This is interesting. <laughs> it looks like a mineshaft is cutting right through this village. I don't know if I've ever seen this. Oh my goodness, look at how far down these houses are. Wow, the generation went way off with this one, I think. This might be the craziest village I've ever seen. I wonder if we can find a minecart in here with a name tag. Oh, you know what? If I use a shears on these, do I get the cobwebs? I do. These would be great to finally decorate our attic with. Whoa, okay. That is a hazard. That spawns cave spiders, doesn't it? 
but I think it's light enough that it won't spawn them right now. I'm not sure if I want to take this chance. Should I destroy this? I don't know if it's ever going to be of use to me. I might just get rid of it and take all these tasty cobwebs. Hey, bud. Boom. You are no more. There's a minecart and a name tag. Perfect. I don't think I need anything else here. Oh, you scared me. Holy moly, that was a jump scare. Oh, oh, my heart is actually beating so fast right now. There's another minecart, and this one's being defended. Oops, I'll hit you with my beef, sir. <laughs> there we go. How's this one looking? I'll take the torches and the coal. That's about it. Oh, ow, another defender. Ow, there we go. And another minecart, here we go. Punch one. Uh, I'll take the torches, I'll take the coal, and again, that's about it. Gold boots. <laughs> you hit him right down the hole. You both had boots. Not anymore. Golden apple, nice. I continued to explore the mine shaft, but unfortunately that was all the mine carts I could find. So only one name tag. That's okay though. Finally, I headed back out into the sunlight, hopped on horse horse, and back home we rode. There she is, our home sweet home. Looks like Gil has left the lights on for us. Okay, that was a very successful adventure, and it's almost monument building time. But first, I have to get some cactuses growing for a renewable source of dye. Isn't that right, Horse Horse? I'm honestly not quite sure where to put these. Maybe actually in one of these basement areas, we can set up some plant shops. Oh, I forgot I never finished that. Oops. <laughs> Or a plant shop, what am I saying? Plant, plant, planters, you know, like this. Can this go in there? Oh, they have to be away from the wall. Oops. Okay, it doesn't make the most sense, but it'll work. Now we can get green dye whenever we need it. Because yes, that's the ingredient I was missing for this monument. And boom, just like that. Now I think if my memory serves me correct, yes, you can make concrete this way. And we really don't need that much. Honestly, I think this is more than enough. And let's just do a quick water bucket check. Look, I haven't missed one since that one episode. Look at me go. <laughs> and then let's do this. I think I need just a couple of these to be actually solid concrete. There we go. Easy peasy. Now we can gather the rest of the materials we'll need, which is honestly not a lot. And now we just have to find a good spot to build this thing. I kind of want it to be by our house, to be honest with you. What about right off the entrance i think that might be a good idea and i am dumb that's not the right color concrete i need lime green not regular green shoot thankfully i'm pretty sure that's an easy fix i think that you can just yes make it with white dye there we go and there's that lime concrete powder i need well i guess we gotta do another water bucket trick and another one landed let's go and we'll do the same thing with this water it down and pickaxe it up so i'm almost positive that you're going to be able to guess what i'm building oops that does not go there we'll start with the base of stone and then we're going to start using slabs and we're going to put these in a three by three around the stone just like this then we'll come out like this on each side and honestly i should be using these full blocks in here too these are going to go like this and now it's really starting to take shape it is kind of close to my door. I hope that's okay. Anyway, this just gets one more on these sides like that. Then these can go in the middle and I can fill the top with the soup because yes, this is indeed a soup bowl. Although some of these I'm gonna replace with these just to make it seem like, uh, I don't know, it's cooler or something in these areas. I just love the way this concrete powder kind of looks like bubbles in texture. Let's see, how about one more right there? Yeah, I like that a lot. Now, I don't plan out a lot of builds ahead of time, but this is one that I definitely did. <laughs> That's so awesome. From down here, it kind of just looks like a bowl. But if you go up here, you can see the soup. Oh, no way. That's actually so cool. Can you see it from over here? You can. Oh my gosh. Oops, didn't do the water bucket clutch on that one. <laughs> okay, before we move on, we've got to dedicate this statue. 10,000 subscribers. Oh, it doesn't even fit. I'll put subs. And I should be keeping track. I think the date is the 17th. I think that's correct. 
10,000 subscribers. And once again, thank you guys so much for your support. This is seriously unbelievable to me. And I love the little community we're growing of people who want to enjoy Minecraft just as much as I do and are learning to approach the game with fresh eyes. It really, really means a lot. Okay, horse horse, I'm getting too sappy. It's time to move on. There's one piece of our home that we've been neglecting, and now that we have cobwebs, I think it's time to finally decorate it. So I changed the torches out on the floor for some lanterns on the ceiling, and added just a little bit of detail in our attic. Alright, it's simple but I like it. It's kind of just like, you know, our extra storage area. Like somewhere I haven't really cleaned and I just kind of chuck random stuff when I need to. Maybe I'm shuffling it around and so there's a couple boxes out in like the walkway area. And back here, a couple other items that I just have in storage right now. Overall, I really think it works and I think the cobwebs add so much little detail. Let me know what you guys think of it or if there's anything you'd like me to change. Okay, now we can finally get started on the kitchen. The workshop had taken most of my materials, so I went on a quick gathering spree. And yes, I used the right saplings this time. I gathered some dark oak wood, some regular oak wood, and smelted a whole bunch of cobblestone to turn it into stone bricks. Man, I really need to get myself a silk touch pickaxe. Okay, the gates are finally coming down. I want to mimic the sky bridge on the other side, except a lot shorter. In fact, I think we're only going to come out three blocks. And fill in the floor and the guardrails with our nice blue roof. Fill in the underside with some arch support. It's a really stubby sky bridge. Then I'm just going to block out the blueprint of the ground layer here. Is that going to be too big for a kitchen? I don't know. I might reduce the size by one right after I sleep. Does anyone know my character never sleeps in the bed correctly? So I'll take this all down and put it all back up just slightly smaller. And we just gotta bring this whole thing up by three blocks. But I'm gonna try something new with the middle pieces here. I think I'm gonna try adding some stone walls in here because it adds just a little bit of depth. After getting the shape down, I layered in a little bit of cobblestone to texture it up. All right, there's the foundation done. Actually, there we go. That looks a little better. There's the foundation. With that stone foundation in place, it was time to build up. I added some flooring and decided to experiment with the roof a little bit. I came up with this sloped idea, which I think kind of worked out, but definitely let me know what you guys think. All right. We got this whole space to work with. I put some large windows on this side to let the light in because, I don't know, I like light when I'm cooking. And this corner is where we're gonna put the kitchen. I think I'm gonna try something. I want to double up the wall back here because I kinda think the diorite would look good as a backsplash. And then we could bring a counter across this way. Oops. And I think the oven slash stove is going to go right here. I'm going to use smokers so that it actually works. I've seen a trick online where you can use these to look like burners. And I think these trap doors kind of look like oven doors. Oh man, it's raining. Can you hear that? Oh, this is so cozy with the giant windows. Oh, I love this space. Now I think we're going to use this deep slate and some hoppers to act as our vents above our stove. We'll have to add a chimney on the outside too. Then I think I'm going to use barrels as cover around the side here just like that and of course we're gonna want a sink here with a nice little towel to the side of it and finally as the monsters pile up underneath us during the darkness let's add a fridge because what good is a kitchen without a fridge and I think if we add a button here oh this door is on wrong okay now let's see this should work so if I have stuff in there yes it shoots it out and of course I can just open it and grab stuff from the dispenser and we can store our cold meats in there. Okay, a quick break to get rid of these guys who are hiding underneath my kitchen. Hello, I hear you. Oh, goodness. Uh, hello. Oh, he's riding a chicken. What the heck? Buddy. Oh, I don't want to kill the chicken. <laughs> there you go. You're free. <laughs> oh, deal with you. And... I thought I... Oh, I did hear another creeper. There's two of them. Please don't blow up my kitchen. I just had this built. There we go. It was time to finish up the kitchen with some detail work, including some potted plants up on the top of the cupboards and my trusty cutting knife and ladle. All right, are you ready for the official tour? I mean, you better be. 
because that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so you walk in across this nice sky bridge and look at this cozy space. So we've got our kitchen here, of course, the main attraction. We've got a little kitchen island that matches the vac splash. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this or if I'm going to change it to be spruce like these. But anyway, I've got an apple out and a bit of a pumpkin pie that I'm... I might have had a slice of already. Okay, anyway, here's the kitchen. I've got a cookbook out, my sink, my fork and my knife, my fridge, and a little pantry space that has the rest of my cookbooks, a couple of pantry supplies, and some cups for milk or water. And of course, the breakfast nook over here, and some potted plants enjoying just a little bit of sunlight. Oh, and I hung some paintings here because I wasn't sure what to do with this space. I'm not entirely in love with it, so I might switch it out for something eventually, like some more shelving, but for now, It'll work. I just love the vibe of this place. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at this. I also like leaving some of the blue exposed. We don't get to see it very much in the, the rest of the rooms. But in here with the beams going overhead, it just looks fantastic. I love having these huge windows out here where we can look out and see the rest of our world develop. And of course, this can be expanded with the sky bridge over there eventually, which probably will happen. While we check out how it looks, outside let's answer the question of the day oh man look at that that is nice i hope you guys can kind of see my vision for the base a little bit better just this sprawling structure of really awesome like victorian style almost buildings it looks so good okay i'm already getting distracted here's the question what is the seed <laughs> basically everyone's asking this and i haven't got given out the seed yet because um i wanted a little bit of time just to myself in this world i don't know i think there's something special about having your own world seed and while i'm going to give you the one for this world i strongly strongly recommend you find your own seed it just adds to the personality of your world you know but i know not everyone likes to play with that i was mostly worried that people would spoil things for me in this seed but now that we've done a little bit of adventuring and gotten established i'm okay giving it out so, there you go. That's the seed. You can pause the video and uh, copy it from there if you'd like. Now, as the sun goes down on our lovely, beautiful world here, we can knock off all of these from the project board. Oh, and knock off the project board itself, it looks like. Look at that, a blank project board ready for next episode's goals. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you'll consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.